Hey, how's your day? Photoshop can do some amazing stuff with all the different tools that are in there during your photo editing or photo retouching. But sometimes you need a little help. Here are my favorite four plugins that I've purchased specifically to use in Photoshop for photo editing and retouching. I haven't been paid for this, but would I like to be? Uh, yeah. Anyways, here's my four favorite plugins that I think everybody should own. Let's go. Alright, we got this great picture of this lady here in the kitchen. What we want to do is we want to remove the JPEG compression, maybe do a little bit of face recovery, crop it, and upscale. These are the four main things I love to use about this, especially when working on JPEGs. So, let's go to File, Automate, and Gigapixel AI. Now, it'll auto-run, and let's see what it picks. Well, it's picked low resolution for the AI model, and the face recovery is at 80. So let's see what it's done. Let's zoom in here. Move the lady over. And you can see all the squares on the JPEG compression on her face and her shirt. And bam, it's removed it all. That's great. You can try your different options to see which works best for your picture here. In the additional settings, we got the face recovery strength is at 80. I'm going to leave it as such because it's done some really good stuff with the hair and the face. Now, the next thing I want to do is zoom out and I want to crop it. Now, let's go over here, and I want to do a one-to-one. -one. Now, let's kind of move it around. I think that's brilliant. So let's hit Apply. It'll redo the enhancements, and now it's cropped to the size that I want. But if we look down here, the original size is pretty small. So let's go to Resize, and let's go four times. And when we look in here... The JPEG compression and everything is gone still, and it made the face brilliant. Check that out. Before, after, before, after. That's great stuff. Let's zoom out. And now our resolution is 2160 by 2160. This is great. So let's save it to Photoshop. Now, once the plugin is gone, you can hit the little X here and zoom out. This is a great start using Topaz Labs Gigapixel. All right, well, now the second tool in my toolbox, Photo AI. We can do all kinds of great stuff with this. So first of all, let's copy the layer and make it a smart object. We can go to Automate again, but we don't have to. So let's go to Filter, Topaz Labs, Photo AI. Now, it's going to automatically run what it thinks it needs for the photo. And let's see what it does. It's doing a Sharpen and Recover Face. So let's kind of straighten up here, zoom out a bit, and let's see what it's done. It's made the hair much more defined. I love that. This is great stuff before, after. We've even improved it even more, and the picture isn't noisy, so we don't need to. The thing I like about Topaz Labs Photo AI is you can add enhancements in any order you want. Now, the thing I want to do is I want to separate her from the background, so let's zoom out, and I want to make her brighter than the background. So let's go add enhancement and adjust the lighting. Now, automatically, the selection is going to be everything. We don't want that. And it's got great options of doing just the subject or whatever you wish. So let's do that. And that separates her. Now, we're missing a bit of her hair here. Let's go to add. And we'll just grab some of our hair over here and possibly over here and on the top of her head. And it automatically creates this great feathered mask for you. And you can adjust the feathering if you wish or change your brush type. So many cool options. Let's hit done and bam. She stands out from the background and it did it brilliantly. You can see the blonde in her hair and her skin tone and everything. That's brilliant stuff. We've separated the subject from the background, and we still have more enhancements if you want, and put them in what order you want. This is a great tool to have in your toolbox. So let's save to Photoshop. Before, 
after. Now we're getting somewhere. Another great tool. Now, my third tool in the toolbox is Anthropics Portrait Pro. If you want to do anything with portraits and have less steps to do, this is the program to get. I love this program. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And we'll make a copy of the layer and make it a smart object in case we need to make changes later. So we'll go to Filter, Anthropics, Portrait Pro. I love this program. Now, it finds the face in the image. And it pretty much smooths the skin and everything automatically for you, but keeping it look real. The first thing I love is all the skin smoothing and lighting and coloring you can do. You can change the skin color, give her a 10, whatever you wish. Look at all the options you got here. And you can do all kinds of stuff. Now, first you can check the skin mask, make sure it's accurate. It looks beautiful. Hit refine edge. Okay. Now you can thin wrinkles, imperfections. There's so many different options to make your picture great. Spot removal, another great thing on this. But in this picture, we don't seem to need it. But we'll try it anyways on a little bit right here. So we'll grab our touch-up tool. And we'll just hover over and bang. They're gone. Brilliant stuff. One of its biggest features that I love is the lighting and coloring. Let's zoom out just a bit here. Bring it up. Now, as you can see over here, we can do anything we want to the lighting to give it a different look or just to improve lighting on a bad photo. Let's grab this and kind of move it around. Check it out where the lighting is going. Just brilliant. Or undo. Now, if you want to change just the modeling lighting, let's do that. And it brings it in. Look at that. That's great stuff. Or you can fix the lighting in general darker, lighter, whatever you wish. The lighting options in this program are amazing. The next thing I want to point out here is the whole section for makeup. Anything and everything goes here. Let's throw on a bit of lipstick just to make her lips a little bit more. You can do anything you want. Mascara. Let's zoom in here a bit. Let's bring up the mascara. Bring up eyelashes if you want. Brilliant stuff. Softness, you can do different applications, false eyelashes, all kinds of great options. Remember to use your options. Eyebrow pencil. Now you can do that and pick the color you wish. I can go here, pick a screen color, and maybe use something from her hair. And then bring it up so it's a little more natural. See what I mean? Everything from highlighter. To bronzer, anything and everything to do with makeup. Blusher, Let's bring up to give her a little more cheek there. Upper eyeshadow. Oh, let's make it look mysterious. That looks great. Lower eyeshadow. And bam, look at this. Before, after. It just enhances portraits like no other program out there. Let's zoom out. One thing I wanted to show you. What's what you can do with hair? This is crazy. First, hit your hair mask. Make sure everything's chosen. There's a little bit over here that is not. So let's extend it and make your brush approximately the same size. And refine the edge. And hit OK. Now, if you just want to enhance or do something with her current hair color, let's do something with the auto levels or the fill light, lighter, darker, whatever you wish. Because of the mask, it does a great job. Darker, lighter, add a bit of contrast in there, some vibrance. It's great stuff. Now, what if you want to change the color? Well, we've already done the mask, so let's select the hair color. Let's go to a light natural brown. That's cool. How about the medium auburn? You can do any color you're thinking of. Dark copper. Let's go crazy. Light purple. Light pink. Anything you want to enhance your portrait. 
is in this program. I'm digging it. And of course, you can always undo. So you can do anything you want with the hair. And there's tons of extras and, of course, presets of what you can do with the picture of different presets from lighting to skin to glamorous modes to whatever. This is an amazing program. I'm glad I have it. The thing is, you have so many other options. I think I'm going to do a tutorial on this whole program because this is crazy good. All kinds of tools. You can remove noise, do a clone tool, replace the sky, do some artifacts. You can do things with mouth and teeth, reduce reflections in glasses, stray hairs. Stray hairs is a big one for some people. With the layers, you can edit your background, change the background, or add an overlay. This program, when it comes to portraits, does it all. Before, after. This is great stuff. Now, my last tool in my tool belt here that I paid for, and this is the best one, I think, is the amount of effects and things that you can do, and you can do anything to any picture you want. So let's make a stamp visible here and a smart object. And let's go to filter, Morse effects, and optics. It has got the widest a range of things that you can do to a picture. But for in this instance, what I like to do, sometimes I'll change the lighting or I'll do something in the background. But to finish off a picture, what I love to do is go to film stocks and then pick just color films. And the color film emulations it does is incredible. Let's zoom in on the girl a bit here. Uh, you love using this very first one. The egg for precision. Great colors. Of course, different color film emulations give you all kinds of options. Options, options. This is brilliant stuff. Sometimes I like to go down to the Kodachrome stuff for different looks that you're looking for. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. Kodachrome 35 millimeter too. One thing you can do in here other than that is make another layer. And we'll do some sort of lighting effect or something. And you can do all kinds of stuff. Lens flares. Do a light for... Let's do some panels here. Whatever you wish. Move it off to the side. Make it mysterious. And of course, you can do all your options over here with this. It's so cool. But let's remove this. Grab another layer. And you have so many different options here of what you can do. Including things with particles laser beams, all kinds of stuff. Plus the masks that you can do in Morse Optics when you want to add an effect. It's just nuts. I'll make a video of that soon. So Morse Effects, more options than any other program I've ever seen that helps you in your photo editing. Let's try this. Color spot. Bam. Already done. I love that. Let's exit and hit yes. Now with the film emulation and the pink vignette before, after. Now let's look at it originally. Before, after. Great tools to have in your toolbox. I'm digging it. Well, there you have it. Here's the four of the plugins that I use all the time on a daily basis for my photo editing and retouching. With all the options that are in these plugins, there's nothing you can't accomplish in your photo editing or retouching. Way too many options, and always remember to use your options. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. It'll help me make more videos for you guys to watch. Have a great day. I'm Don from Photo 911.